a title holder and professor from Onitsha, told me he is not Igbo. He even said Anambra is not Igbo, Asari Dokubo. Many hours ago, Alhaji Asari Mujahid Dokubo went live on Facebook to narrate the discussion he had with a traditional title holder from Onitsha in Anambra State about the real tribes in Anambra. The former Niger Delta militant said, I will not reveal the name of the traditional title holder and professor, but I met him at a hotel in Dubai some years ago. When we dabbled into history in our discussion, he told me he is from Onisha, but he is not an Igbo man. He even argued with me that Anambra is a is originally not an Igbo state. He added, This is why I want Igbos to ask themselves why people are always denying being Igbo. Narrating further, Alhajid, Alhaji Asari Mujahid Dokubo said, The man also told me that he is a Benin man who found himself in Igbo land. This man was dressed in an Onisha traditional title holder attire, but argued that there are many Yegala and Edo people living in Onisha. The traditional title holder again said that many people in Anambra decided to accept the common identity of being Igbo because of inclusivity. Lastly, the Kalabari Kingdom's chief said, we all know that there was a time a well-known footballer named Sunday Olise made it clear that he is not an Igbo man. Also, the former service chief named General Loki Irabo also clarified that he is not Igbo. So why are people denying this tribe? Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe as I check out what other people have to say about this. When your self-worth and esteem is compromised for the purpose of wanting a plate of porridge, you get confused about your identity and personality description. You end up being a beggar over what belongs to you and strangers rule over you. The DOT is too strong and powerful to be rattled by an insignificant and confused few. I am Igbo and proud to be identified and called an Igbo man. Originally, Igbos are not tribe, but an organized group of criminals and violent admin animalistic bandits. We've known you people for causes and abuses whenever anybody talks truth about your tribe. So your cause has turned to be blessing for your opposition. Tokumbo, hope you've also heard when Fela's son said Yorubas did not own Lagos. Every time, Igbo, 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 don't you have other issues to discuss? People can now understand that madness runs in your blood starting from your ancestors. But why does this Igbo thing seem to take sleep from his eyes? This whole race, millions of people being generalized this way, why the hate and headache? I'm beginning to wonder why all these rants. Guy, you are attracting haters to yourself. You talk too much. For record's sake, Onitsha is not part of Igbo. They migrated from Delta State. They are farmers doing their farming business on the bank of River Niger. The long story short, we have Onitsha Uno, Onitsha Ubo, Onitsha Ado, the one that migrated to Anambra State. If you want the whole history, you know what to do. Madness from above is haunting this toad. Poverty is really a disease. 
doing all this for Tinubu to give you appointments, are you not poor? Please, let's face our national problems and ignore the rabble-rousers among us who are bent on distracting us from the real issues on ground. The original indigents of Onitsha are not Igbos. A friend from Onitsha told me that though they are referred, called to as Igbos, but they migrated from the Ile Ife to Onitsha. The original indigents of Onitsha are not Igbos. Chief Asari Dokubo, why wouldn't you leave Indibo alone for Christ's sake? And let me ask you, what you will gain in attacking your people because I strongly believe that you have an evil blood in your vein. Asari Dokubo, Zukwanu Ike. Asari, something is wrong with your head. All you are saying about Igbos makes no sense. It simply means you are jealous of Igbos. Ibos, please stop reducing yourself by responding to this man. This is madness of highest order. Pig Asari is now mad. For your information, Ibos have the highest per capita income of any black ethnic group in the world, and the world they are properly represented in all facets of human development and there's nothing your hate can do about it. It is expected that wisdom comes with age, but in your case, it's vice versa. Learn to think before you post. Pig, you liar. You are only looking for attention and ways to amend your antics. Don't worry one day. Nemesis will catch up to you. The title holder from Onitsha is a Calabari man, Oluku, who talk carelessly. Don't worry, very soon, you and your master will be booted out. Why not mind your business and leave the Igbo people alone? Are Igbos the only ethnic group in Nigeria? Please focus on issues that affect you and your people and let the Igbos be. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends.